Hello everyone, welcome. So I would like to do some, I think they're called koi carp um, or koi fish and um, that's what I'm going to be painting today for our paint calm in May. The um, sketchbook that I'm using is this one that I got from uh, Team U, so it's got this hard cover. It hasn't got very thick um, pages which is why I'm only using one side um, the idea is coming from wild watercolor connect to the natural world through the art of painting by Inga Buiva da Vici and um, you can see this is the kind of thing that I'm going for but um, yeah I, I might alter it slightly as I'm going along and do my own thing so to start off with I am going to be using my deep deep light paints so I've got quite a few deep deep light paints and I'm going to be using those today um, I've ordered a new palette to keep these in because this isn't quite working for me um, and also I can't order any more until I get a bigger palette what an excuse huh um i've got a tiny little dish here that i got from one of those little craft stores so it's a little handmade ceramic um, dish um, to do some mixing in i have got three paint brushes at the ready these are the escoda perla and they are a size 12 a size 10 and a size eight so i've got those at the ready off to the side there and i'm going to start by doing a background and as i use the colors i'm going to make a note of the colors that i'm using at the top here um, because this is a sketchbook and in case i want to do something like this again i need to keep a note of um, what it is that i'm using now for my background for my fish I want to do wet in wet so um, I'm going to use a spray bottle and um, just start to wet that page and I'm just going to make sure that that's kind of covered I'm, I'm doing a kind of a square here but I'm missing out this top bit because that's where I want to put um, a note of the paints that I'm using hold on let me make sure that my sound is up okay I think that will be better hopefully You've heard me before and I don't have to re-record that bit. So I've got some water on my uh, paper, watercolour paper. And I think for the background I'm going to use some greens. So I'm going to use this woodpecker green as a starting point. And I'm also going to use um, Solstice Fern. And we don't have to be particularly careful about this bit, to be honest. Um, I'm even going to put some of this mint in there, I think. So this colour is called Mint. Uh, I'm just trying to make sure that I've got a bit of a square that I'm going to be working in because this is just a background and I'm just going to keep using those three colours green woodpecker, solstice fern and mint And 
let's just add a bit more in maybe specifically around those corners so that I can see where my edges are I'm just building this up with my three greens and I'm even going to do a little bit of splatting with my mint green that could be like bubbles in the water maybe something like that right so I've got actually maybe well it's because it's wet I'm going to dry that off and then you'll be able to see that better so here we go I have dried that off and you can see it's just a very pale greenish background there that I've um, done so next what we want to do is to start to do our um, koi or koi carp koi fish and um, oh first of all I need to let's make a note of the colors that I used right, there we go There we go, that's our three greens that I've used so far. Right, let's go on to do our carp. And now what colour shall I use? I think I'm going to use um, Mother Earth. So let's just get that wet. We've got a little bit there and I'm also going to use what shall I use with it blacks so we'll get a little bit of blacks on there so mother earth and blacks and I want to get the shape of my koi carp so um, where should we pop it maybe more to the bottom here so as we can get a nice big tail in so I'm just going to do like a C curve and then we've got kind of like the mouth or the head of the fish and then I want this to kind of come around like so and then let's just make a little bit of a note of where our tail is going to flow off to and we've got another fin that kind of comes out here so we want that one to be coming out as well and I want that to kind of curve around a bit more. So I'm just basically getting that shape in there. Now I want the body to be quite dark here. So now I'm going in with more of the Mother Earth. And we'll have that going like so and maybe just kind of there and then I need to bring this blacks in and 
and where's my flax gone there you are we need some of that in these big bins so that we're getting just try and add a bit more in there so I will bring this up a little bit so, so I mean it is still wet but there I think you're getting the idea we need to get some more bins in there so let's go back to our mother earth and our flax and make sure we've got some of each and we can mix up a little bit and then I need to get like a fin there a fin there and perhaps a darker fin there and then we need one on this side here we can just add a bit more paint in there so before I go any further and see what else I want to do to my poi carp, I'm going to dry that back in a tick. Okay, so I think you can now see the effect that I've got there. I'm going to go for an even smaller brush now. I'm going to go down to the size 8. And where is my sponge? There you are. It should really be putting them in there so I need to put, add some detail now so I'm going to start with the mother earth and this is quite it's thicker paint I'm not adding much as much water to it and I want to get some nice some thicker lines going on around here like so there we go that looks better um what else do we need to do maybe maybe i'll get a little bit more of the Blacks in there on the, on the. Let's just make that a bit darker. Put it up against the, the dark ones. And I think we'll get a bit more of that lighter blue shining across the top of its body. maybe around the edges of those now I need to get some little um, dots in now I'm not sure whether it's going to work with this or whether I'm going to need to get my bleed proof white but we kind of need oh no this does work we need some little, little dots here and that's going all the way down that side if you can see that okay so just on this dark bit there so we've got some little dots we need to do um, some eyes I think I am going to use a white Uniball. Here we go. Signo Uniball for um, the eyes. So this one is kind of on the on the side, and then this one is kind of there. So we've got some eyes in there, and I might even add. 
put some white dots in here just to bring that up a little bit okay let me bring that up a bit more so that you can see what I've done and then maybe we just need some splodges and something that's going to give us some movement here of the water so I'm going to go back to my big size 12 brush And I'm going to use the Mother Earth. And that's quite watered, but we can get a few splats in. Because that will help to give it some movement. And then with it quite watered down think I'm going to do some well what could be bubbles I suppose we don't want to go overboard do we And I'm thinking that this is quite light around here, so I feel like I'm just wetting that. That's got a bit too wet. Let's find, find a tissue. I don't want it to be that wet. And I'm just going to maybe add in a bit more of the mint, which you can't see terribly well on that screen, can you? And a bit more of the solstice fern. Um, it was just looking a little bit too too light on that corner and I don't want it to I want that to kind of merge in with what I've already done so I'm cleaning my brush brush off each time and I'm just um, brushing it so that it we don't get a hard edge basically now do i want to add anything else i feel like i need to add something to my tail that's going to be quite fun dabby dozy so i am going to get out my spectrum noir metallic paint marker it's a 0.7 millimeter and this color is called quick silver because i just feel is that working let's try that on a little piece of paper and get that working all right there we go that's better that is now working that's actually a bit too fine almost not liking that let's try again everybody um what shall we use instead uh, i think maybe should we try the signo uniball in silver and see if that sh oh yes that's showing a little bit more. So, um, 
I think you can, yes, you can just about see that shiny silver there. And so, so that that's not the only place that we've got silver, let's just add some, well, I'll call them swirls. Shall I call them swirls? So I've just added a few swirls there. So, is that better with or without the light? Let's have a little look. Mm, maybe it's better without the light and I think you can probably see my little silver swirls there. Let's finish off with the colours that we used. So. There's our Mother Earth. And then we need the blacks. We need a bit more water there. There we go. There. There is our blacks. So now we can see all of those um, colours and I think that's made rather a nice, peaceful, calm picture. Um, you could carry on adding a little more detail to the bubbles and things if you wanted to. Um, I'm going to leave mine as it is, um, but I, I do quite like how the how the carp has come out using that lighter colour up through the middle there and I do rather like its tail as well tail fins, is that what they're called? so uh, there we go um, something hopefully that is doable not too complicated but also calming and relaxing so part of our paint calm in May look out for some more to come and I will see you next time have a lovely day evening afternoon wherever you are